It's a fun little revolver. This one's uh, made by uh, Pieta. It's a it's a model 1872, or sorry, 1873 Colt coffee, and uh, it's the uh, first one that came out. It's got the screw and everything in the front instead of the easy release that the later models had. This one's uh, chambered in uh, 45 long Colt. It's uh, just finishing off the factory ammunition here. I uh, picked this one up probably about three years ago. Got it from Marstar. They handle all the uh, Pieta stuff. I had to mess around. The thing was shooting bad to the uh, left. So I had to very, very gently and carefully move that front sight a little bit. But uh, seems to be pretty good now. The uh, gun's a lot more accurate than the owner, that's for sure. But they're uh, a lot of fun. I'm gonna blast, blast away the rest of this box. We can start reloading my own for it. Probably, uh, probably uh, do a bunch up in black or black substitute. Reloading these pretty straightforward. Back to the first cylinder rotates freely. Stuff one in, skip one. The other nice thing about only using five keeps your numbers even in the box. Okay, cock her back, release. Things pointing down range the whole time. And uh, you got the hammer resting on a empty uh, chamber so that's your the only safety available to you on a on one of these single action armies so, but uh, a lot of fun to shoot and uh, I've, I've uh, reloaded black in this one already and uh, you gotta put a water card between the bullet and the powder I used uh, the triple t seven substitutes and uh, it's about 15 times hotter than the uh, than the original uh, black powder, and I noticed uh, she was leaving, leaving a pretty good deposit of lead up here in this end of the barrel, so it was melting the stuff. I uh, did use uh, guys were saying to try uh, um, milk carton, cut out uh, cards little round uh, I tried that didn't seem to work very well so uh, I got a feeling if I go with those uh, use the uh, wonder wads that that should uh, fix that right up uh, next time I think I'll use the actual black powder it's gonna be fun to mess around with anyway anyway enough yapping start blasting with this thing I think I swipe at the 25 yard. One thing about uh, cartridge, you go through a lot more lead. Than you do with the uh, cap and ball, that's for sure. It's almost uh, too easy. Pack a few more in it. Yeah, I think this uh, take another go at the. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna blacker. Try the substitute again. The uh, substitute's a lot friendlier on the metal. It's not corrosive, so go for the 50 yards here.
that uh, little sight adjustment, it did seem to do the trick. It's uh, getting pretty annoying. Always having to aim off the target. I don't like that using the what they call the Kentucky windage. I don't like that at all. Don't mind elevation, but the, you know, I've had a couple of pistols. In fact, I had to take the front sight down on one. My uh, walker, that's proposing a whole new problem. The front sight needs to be taller on that one. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, time will tell, I guess. I'll figure something out. Flinch on that one. Got some lots of tumbler food coming up here. Space in the bottom right corner there. Get the flinchies bad today. this caliber. I think uh, I have a 44 Magnum um, Ruger. It's uh, toying with getting a Vanquero, but every one I find has got the only got the five inch barrel. I don't care, but I like the longer barrels. I think originally they had a barrel roughly that long, seven and a half, seven inch. And, uh, I don't know, let's see how I make out with this one. I kind of like it. Good candidate for black powder, because the Piata is not a really high-priced uh, gun. So go at that again, see if I can do a little better this time. Ooh. Much better with the 50 yards than I, or 25 yards. That's it. And smokeless, this thing's a little dirty. That's all right. have a nice sunny day today. The weatherman isn't uh, too good at his job here the last couple of days. I don't see any snow so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that a good thing. Best way to use that ejector rod. Each click, make sure you gotta gently just pull them back. 
pull them back a little bit and then that rod will work just fine. I see a lot of people uh, fumbling with these things. But uh, so make sure she's up, up against the stop there. Seems to do the trick pretty good. Okay, I'll leave her like that and I'll uh, zero in on the targets. And see, how, see how my hits and misses are doing. And I'm good at the misses. Of course, see how we make out and do it 25 yards. Wind blowing in now. <laughs> we'll chalk that up as a fluke. Amazing what you can do is you take your time and aim. Huh. Yard means we're on a streak. So you're pretty happy with that 25 yard shot. There. 